For more on what's driving this increased demand for gold, we're joined by John Gong. He's a professor at the University of International Business and Economics in Beijing. Always great to see you. Thank you. So we saw China's gold consumption rose in the first half of 2023. Why is this increasing? We heard some of those demographics there. What do you think is behind it? Well, I think uh, some of it has to do with the pent up demand. I think, you know, during the COVID time um, last year and the year before last year, uh, there hasn't been a lot of shopping activities. Um, now people are coming out and buy things and certainly, you know, jewelry stuff uh, on the shopping list. Uh, I think what's interesting is that, uh, um, you know, a lot of young people, young couples are buying it. Um, I think this has a lot to do with uh, consumers' more sophisticated uh, taste and preference. Um, the jewelry industry has, do, has been doing a wonderful job of coming up with new products, um, um, you know, interesting and attractive products. Um, and, and overall, I think with the living standard raising in China, people are having more demand for these things. Uh, it's not just the ring, it's the necklaces, the bracelets, all kinds of uh, jewelry products. Um, and, and the last reason I can think of is that maybe consumers are more sophisticated. As you program mentioned, uh, you know, people are buying these things from the perspective of the investment. The gold price has been really high at this point and it's been rising for the last uh, several years. Um, and I think, uh, you know, people are expecting the gold price to be uh, quite uh, resilient, to quite, quite stable uh, moving forward. Um, in consideration of the, you know, inflation with the war going on, um, gold price has been a historic high, actually, you know, close to $2,000 per ounce. And uh, probably people are expecting that the gold price will be maintained at that level. So, um, you know, buying jewelry, uh, at the same time, using this as a means of preserving value, as a means of investment, it's pretty, it, you know, might be a pretty smart choice, uh, I would say. Now, we see that from time to time. If the markets are down, people are looking for something that holds gold is something. Uh, other metals are also other items uh, that can that people feel that they can save and, and hold and pass down to their family and maybe sell down the road. Talk about the online shopping of it. I mean, are people buying this online to hold as an investment as well? Yeah, people are certainly buying these online. You know, you would imagine that for such a large ticket item, people usually go to the brick and mortar store to feel it, to touch it, to make sure it's the real thing. But I think the uh, entire uh, consumption pattern and, and, and the shopping experience have really changed in China. Uh, online shopping has really taken off and uh, you know, people are spending money on, on, online to buy very expensive stuff. I mean, it's not just the uh, uh, gold and jewelry, it's also, you know, luxury items as well. I mean, uh, practically all the major luxury brands uh, around the world have opened, for example, you know, online presence uh, in, in Tmall, which is Alibaba's uh, main staying uh, shopping platform. So. Uh, uh, you know, the, the level of trust in online platforms uh, from consumers' perspective is really being enhanced. And uh, I, I will see this trend to continue uh, moving forward. Um, and I, I, in addition to online, if you go to shopping malls these days uh, in China, in major cities, you know, the jewelry stores are usually at the you know, front of the entrance uh, in, in the shopping malls. And usually, you know, it's pretty people proud at these places right now. Uh, Joe, we have about a minute left, but we know that gold is always been traditionally just very important in China. It's always been around. Um, how has China's production of gold changed over the last few years to meet the demand, yeah, especially? China yeah, China is also becoming a, uh, a big buyer of gold um, as well as a you know, producer of gold. Um, the the, the jewelry use uh, related gold demand has been uh, increasing a lot. I think, if I remember this correctly, it's 300, four, nearly 400 uh, metric tons of gold consumption, I think, for the last year. Um, in addition to this, I mean, gold is also being bought by um, the uh, Central Bank, actually. Uh, you know, China's foreign exchange reserve has a very large portion of it is actually invested in gold. Um, I think um, this is happening um, in a context of, um, you know, intense uh, competition between the United States and China, China needs to diversify its foreign uh, exchange reserve portfolio. And certainly uh, gold appears to be a good choice, holding up its value. And as I said, with the more complicated geopolitical picture um, uh, uh, ahead, 
uh, and with the war still going on ahead, uh, with no uh, end in sight, I think the gold is uh, it, it, the gold price is going to maintain its current level. I think. All right, always great to get your take, John Gong. Thank you for joining us from Beijing.